Well, good morning. Almost time for me to get another good workout in on the bike. Uh, indoors today, even though it's nice outside. Got some high intensity to do. Anyways, nobody cares about that. Um, what are we looking at here? This is a scan. This is a free scan. Last week was a free scan. Um, if you haven't seen one of these before, I'm going to go down through the three basic entries that I teach people. As you get used to this, you can start adding, subtracting, um, but the rules are the rules. Never subtract. You can always add to the rules, but you can never subtract from the rules. All right, so <clears throat> we look at this. First thing we do, if you're not familiar with this, we look at this column right here, max shares. All right, if you have, we're assuming, well, I won't assume anything, but if you have under 100,000 in your uh, portfolio, this particular one here, Erie, you can notice all of these are above one. This one is not above one. Forget about it. It's not on the scan if you have under 100,000. All right. We have plenty of people that get our scans that have over 100,000 in their account so you, they can use this. Use this is specifically for you out there that have under 100,000 in their account. All right. So the first, there's three different strategies. Basic strategies to enter into the market. So the first one is, we'll go to CFR here. So at 117.41, that's Friday's close, right? So you put a limit order at that level. So you'd be at 117.41, one share. Your uh, target amount would be $3. That's what you're looking to profit. That's 2.6%, okay? Doesn't seem like much. But when you start multiplying them by thousands of trades per year, you'll get a better understanding. All right. The second limit or the second strategy is your limit. OK, so we look at this. We come over here. We see that uh, three dollars less is one fourteen forty one. So we put a limit order in it. One fourteen forty one. Now, if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I'm using a pullback strategy right so pull back to the limit amount right but in this case using pullback what we're doing is we're putting a uh, an alert at this 114.41 and then we trail it by the dividend amount minus a few cents all right that's just so we have that buffer we always want to be trying to get a uh, better price i don't want to pay full price but depending on the size of your portfolio and how much of what percentage of your portfolio is already in the market, meaning how much cash you have in reserve, would dictate which one of these three strategies you would use. Okay. So if you need more help on that, you, know, you can always go to the courses or you can drop me an email. I'm always more, will, more than willing to help those that are just starting out in this. Once you get a handle on this, I'll probably never hear from you again. But once you get this down, I promise you, it will make you some money if you stick to the rules. So just go to uh, dividendcollectionteam.com, scans-courses, and you can find what we do. Um, don't worry about the Vega. In simplest term, Vega is just the strength on uh, how the underlying moves. Okay, how the security actually moves. It's just, it's, it's a function, it's more advanced stuff, but uh, just for your basic entries, you don't even need to understand it. I really don't pay too much attention to it because I've been doing this so long. I have a pretty good understanding of how the, all the different securities that I trade, the dividend paying securities that I trade. You, you notice you will not see a stock in these portfolios that does not pay dividends. So if you're looking for Netflix or one of those types, uh, it will not show up in these scans. So don't be uh, don't be surprised if you never see it. If it started paying dividends and it was over a dollar twenty per share per year, uh, it would probably make our scan. But that's it for now. Uh, hopefully that helps, and we'll see you on Tuesday morning. Later.